everybody, I'm Rachel Ray, and this is Baltimore. Baltimore, Maryland is a historic city with a very unique personality. Nicknamed the City of Firsts, it's home to the first monument to George Washington, and it's the birthplace of our national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. Even legendary baseball player Babe Ruth was born here. But just because this city's steeped in history doesn't mean it's stuck in the past. Among Baltimore's attractions, you'll find stylish shops and museums, both traditional and, well, unconventional. And whether you crave fresh seafood, comfort food with flair, or more upscale fare, Baltimore has something to please every palate at every price. You know, Baltimore's been around for 250 years. That means when it comes to food, they know what they're doing. I'm gonna show you a place today where they've been making crab cakes the same way since 1886. And you ever heard of Baltimore, hon? Today you're gonna meet her, and we're gonna have a little comfort food while we're at it. And then I'm gonna show you the best place to get it, green chili burger for just four bucks. Hey, it's time to do it. Let's hit the streets of Baltimore. To get a taste of everything Baltimore has to offer, we'll discover four different ways that this city is one of a kind. You know, some people think of Baltimore as just an industrial city, but I gotta tell you something, especially down along the waterfront, Baltimore has completely reinvented itself over the last 20 years, and it's got a really fun and funky, eclectic side full of personality. Ever long to be greeted by the phrase, how you doing, hun? Well then, Cafe Hun is the place for you. Owner Denise Whiting opened the 50-style diner 14 years ago with a focus on fun. And of course, pie. When I was growing up, my mother always said, if I ever had a restaurant, I would serve really good pie. Pies like the mixed berry are made from scratch and are good enough to make any mother proud. But where did the Baltimore term hun come from? Hun is short for honey. People say, hi hun, how are ya? You? you want fries with that hun? You want a little more coffee, hun? Hun is fun. If that's not enough to make you feel at home, how about some home-style cooking? Order up the much better than mom's meatloaf or the pork chops. Catch the early bird special to enjoy the meatloaf, salad, and a drink for less than 12 bucks. Another Baltimore find is the Old Malt Shop. Located in South Baltimore, or Sobo to the locals, this neighborhood gem has been around since the 1940s. In 2005, current owners Mark Trunk and Penny George rescued the Old Malt Shop just as it was about to close its doors forever. Lucky for us, this place is still serving up delectable treats at old time prices, like $1.75 for a single scoop of ice cream. Stop in for classics like the chocolate ice cream soda topped with whipped cream and a cherry. And you can't go wrong with a chocolate malt. But don't be surprised if those around you want to share. In that case, your best bet is to order the banana split. It's big enough to feed a crowd. And best of all, it's less than six bucks. Who knew cleaning your plate could be so much fun? Not only does Baltimore find joy in dining and desserts, it's also got an eccentric take on museums. The American Visionary Art Museum supports the idea that anybody can create art with absolutely anything. This one-of-a-kind museum is easy to find. Just look for the glittering, decorated tree and a 55-foot whirligig created by a one-time mechanic and farmer. And if that doesn't get your attention, maybe the giant pink poodle will. So remember, when in Baltimore, celebrate the hun at Cafe Hun and enjoy some homemade pie while you're at it. Take a walk down memory lane at the old malt shop for classic treats at golden oldie prices. And celebrate creativity at the American Visionary Art Museum. You know, you cannot come to Baltimore without casting your own net into all the great local seafood, all you can eat. Now, everybody knows about the, the soft shell crabs and the crab cakes. You guys, you gotta check out the rockfish, the oysters, the mussels. It is all so good, and it doesn't get any fresher because it comes right out of Chesapeake Bay. So when in Baltimore, take a taste of the Chesapeake. One of the most delectable gems in the Chesapeake region is Fadley Seafood. It's located in the historic Lexington Market, which is the oldest municipal market in America. 
business was started in about 1886. Nancy and I are the third generation. Our grandchildren and our grandnephews make the fifth. Nancy Devine, granddaughter of Fadley's founder, John W. Fadley, carries on the family tradition of preparing homemade crab cakes. She prides herself on making each coveted cake by hand using fresh Maryland blue crab. These babies are so popular, people order them to be shipped all over the world. It's standing room only at Fadley's, but no one seems to mind. The focus here is all about the food. And boy, do people feel strongly about those crab cakes. Today we came specifically for the crab cakes. They're really the best that we've had anywhere. And we're not from around here, we're about an hour and a half away. Fadley's has the best crab cakes in town. Definitely. The crab cakes aren't the only draw at Fadley's. There's another dish that's as classic Baltimore as the restaurant itself, the kadi. In the early 1900s, Russian Jewish immigrants began selling the historic snack on Baltimore's east side. The kadi is a surprisingly tasty mixture of salt crackers, mustard, and codfish. When at Fadley's, you gotta have a taste, because you won't find them anywhere but Baltimore. Now, if you see this bumper sticker all over town, that's your cue to head on over to Bertha's in the Fells Point neighborhood. It'll come as no surprise that Bertha's serves up the best mussels in town. And what makes a great mussel rise above the rest? It's all in the sauce. Bertha's offers seven special dipping sauces. Creamy mustard, Spanish, sour cream and scallion, garlic butter with capers, fresh basil, anchovies, and spinach tarragon. And at around 10 bucks an order, you can afford to feast on a mound of mussels. If you like sculptures as much as soft shells, head to Gertrude's, located inside the world-renowned Baltimore Museum of Art. This place is a feast for both the eyes and the taste buds. Executive chef John Shields has made a career out of highlighting the best of Chesapeake Bay's eastern shore. Most of his menu consists of fresh regional seafood offerings like Chesapeake rockfish, crab, and shrimp. And Gertrude's got some budget-friendly specials, too. On Tuesdays, their top 10 entrees are 10 bucks each. And on Wednesdays, all their wine is half price. The seafood here is phenomenal. Every plate on this table is under $20. My mom would really love this. This is a pancetta wrapped shrimp. My mom stuffs the back of her shrimp with herbs and then wraps it in pancetta. John wraps his pancetta shrimp again with fontina cheese. Not a bad idea. Then he puts it up on top of hominy. That's like uh, grits. And he's got three cheeses mixed in with the hominy. Mm, yummo. Over here, Oh, it is so special and delicious, and it's the best in Baltimore soft shell crabs. Now, you can only get them from May till October, but if you're in town, when they're in town, load up on them, kids. Now, John's down here, is just like I do, dust him in flour, then he puts it up on top of corn pudding, and he's got imperial crab on top of that, and then he does a nice lemon caper butter sauce. Simple and delicious. I love these guys. And they're called soft shell crab because they have soft shells, and you can and eat the whole thing. Mm. Crispy and delicious. <laughs> For a few more big deals in Baltimore, here's my hot list of values. Satisfy your sweet tooth at Burger's Bakery. A heavenly slice of cake will only cost you $1.50. Visit the opulent Intercontinental Hotel for a traditional high tea at Brighton's. It includes a selection of finger sandwiches, freshly made scones, and of course, endless tea. All for only 17 bucks. Get your day started right at Jimmy's Diner. Order up the pancake special, which includes pancakes, two eggs, and your choice of meat, and a cup of coffee for only $5.50. Hey guys, I'm Rachel Ray. Please join me next time for some more tasty travels. For more information about this episode or to share your dining tips, please log on to foodnetwork.com.